Hey guys, and welcome to the Voice of AI. My name is Chris. So let's cover what's super hot in AI this week. Today, we're going to cover a bunch of exciting updates in the world of AI, and here is AI Amy to kick us off today. Hello there, I am AI Amy, reporting for the Voice of AI. A great and exciting alternative to chat GPT is Claude. Have you tried it yet? An updated version of Anthropic's text generating AI model, Claude Instant, has been released. Claude XC Instant 1.2 boasts improved performance in areas like math, coding, reasoning, and safety. A cheaper and faster version. It generates longer and more structured responses as well as offering better multilingual capabilities and question answering. The model is also less prone to generating incorrect or nonsensical text and is more resistant to jailbreaking attempts. With a context window of 100,000 tokens, the same as Anthropic's flagship model Claude 2, Claude Instant 1.2 can analyze approximately 75,000 words. Anthropic's AI self-teaching algorithm aims to create virtual assistants capable of tasks such as answering emails, performing research, and generating art in books. I am a keen advocate of Claude, and I know Chris uses it a lot. Now back to Chris in the studio. Thanks, Amy. Amy is provided to us today by Synthesia, the AI video generated software. And if you want to make videos with no stress, her and her AI avatar colleagues are there for you at Synthesia.io. I'm a big fan of Claude, and as Amy said, you really should give it a go. So now on to Google and the free courses that they have to provide you with help to learn all about AI and various models. They've created a bunch of courses, and here are a few of them. Amy? Yes, if you would like to learn from Google's courses, you can start with an introduction to image generation, which covers how diffusion models work, real use cases for diffusion models, unconditioned diffusion models, and advancements in diffusion models, text to image. This introduction to image generation is a nine minute course. Another great Google course is an introduction to generative AI and this one covers defining generative AI, explaining how generative AI works, describing generative AI model types, and describing generative AI applications. The Introduction to Generative AI is a 22-minute course. Next up is an introduction to large language models, and this covers defining large language models, describing LLN use cases, explaining prompt tuning, and describing Google's Gen AI development tools. This Introduction to Large Language Models is a 15-minute course. I also recommend the Introduction to Responsible AI, which introduces Google's seven AI principles. In this course, you will understand why Google has put AI principles in place, identify the need for a responsible AI practice within an organization, recognize that decisions made at all stages of a project have an impact on responsible AI, and Recognize that organizations can design AI to fit their own business needs and values. The Introduction to Responsible AI is a nine-minute course. You can find all the links in today's video in the YouTube video description, and I recommend everyone to take a thorough look at these courses from Google. Now, back to Chris. Great, Amy. Thanks very much. So now on to OpenAI and the latest news. OpenAI has announced the expansion of its customer instruction feature providing users with more control over their interactions with AI chatbot ChatGPT. Initially available to ChatGPT Plus subscribers, this feature is now accessible to all users, including those on the free tier. By customizing prompts, users can streamline and personalize ChatGPT's responses, improving the overall AI user experience, which sounds awesome. This enhancement allows for greater tailoring of responses in terms of character limits, tone, style, language preferences, and more. OpenAI's commitment to individualized AI experiences is further reinforced by its plans to bring the custom instructions featured to the European Union and the United Kingdom very soon. Now, we guys here at The Voice of AI love using snack prompts, and Amy has the latest news from leader Eduard Teixeira. Now you can publish a tutorial with all of your prompts. 
This new feature by Snack Prompt will make sharing prompts much more effective. You can add videos, text, and hide the how-to until the prompt is purchased. This clever program helps anyone find the right prompts even if they don't know how to make them. They are making tools like ChatGPT and Midjourney even easier to use. They are introducing Prompt How To, so you can now help your community with best prompt practices for the prompt you create. Why not leverage Snack Prompt to drive your productivity and optimize your inputs for the best results? That's all for me today. I'm AI Amy with all your latest AI news and updates. See you next time. Now back to Chris. So thank you to AI Amy, a great first broadcast today. So that's all for today. And thanks for watching the video. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel for more AI related content and tips. And join us on the journey to unlock the potential of AI. And if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. All the very best. I'm Chris from The Voice of AI. Cheers and bye bye now.